Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I want to show you how to use the brand new winter inspired Photoshop action pack from Cozy Clicks. Now, I am in Phoenix, which doesn't get a lot of snow and doesn't look very wintry. So I'm really excited to use these actions. And I'd love to know, where are you guys at right now too? Where are you watching this from? I'm always curious where um, all of you are. So leave a comment below and let me know where you're at. So when I went out to take this picture, it was like 90 some degrees and I had to ask her to be a little chilly because I knew in the back of my mind I wanted to edit this photo very wintry. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to run all of the Photoshop winter inspired actions and there's a gray play all button right here. You just click on that and all of the actions are going to run. Now this is a great way to start playing around with this set so that you can get familiar with what each action does. Each action is gonna look slightly different on every photo, so you wanna play around with it and see what works best for you. Now, if your actions don't look like this when they're loaded in, that's because you're probably not on button mode. So to get into button mode, what you wanna do is you wanna click on these horizontal lines that are up in the corner. It's not letting me right now because these are still loading. And okay, now I can. First thing is button mode. So if yours look kind of like this, it might seem kind of unorganized. Just click there, hit button mode, and they're all color coded and organized really nicely for you so it's easy to see. Okay. Now I just want to show you a couple of these actions that are loaded in here so you can see the difference that each of these make. Most of these were created to give you kind of um, a more wintry look, while others are created to give you more of a last days of fall, beginning of winter look. So let's look at a couple different ones. Um, I'm gonna start with this winter nights one here because I really like it. It's just one click. Really, you could leave it just like that if you wanted to. Or each action has the mask here. So you could click on that grab a soft black brush and brush off a part of your image if you wanted to. You could also come up to the opacity and just drop it if you wanted to. You could also open up any action and you'll see within each action different steps that it took to get to that action. So you might turn one off or reduce opacity on one. Really the opportunities are endless with what you could create. Okay, so that's winter nights. Last days of fall is one of those actions that takes you more into fall and not totally into the snowy winter. Um, cool breeze is another one of those fall-like actions. So this is really, you guys, I'm just clicking one click. A lot of these were created, so it's not going to affect the skin or your subject at all. And um, Frosty, I really like that one. That one's one of my favorites. So Frosty has kind of more blue tones that are into it, makes it cool and wintry. So I really like this one right here. So I'm gonna keep that one on. And like I said, you can brush it off. You can adjust the opacity if you want. You can even try to click on several of the different actions. So I really like Frosty. I'm gonna combine that with the Winter Nights that was right here, but I am gonna lower the Winter Nights a little bit because I think it's a little too white and we're losing some of the detail. But now it looks like these bushes are not green anymore. It looks like a snow has kind of covered over them. All right. So with these winter inspired actions right now, the snow overlays are also included too. So I'm gonna give you a really quick tutorial of how to include snow overlays onto your image. So with this pack, you're also gonna get 21 different snow overlays. So I'm just gonna to go to file, place embedded. You can also go to file open and then drag the snow overlay on later, but I'm just going to go to place embedded. These are the different effects. So there's small snowflakes to more like a rain like snowflake and blizzard. So there's all different ones you can kind of play around with. I'm going to pick the number 10 and hit place. I'm also going to make sure I drag that all the way up to the top and I'm going to go from normal to screen. And that's going to give me snow that's falling over her. I'm going to drop the opacity, create a layer mask, and I'm just going to brush it off a little bit of her. 
Not all the way because I want it to look like the snow is still falling on her too. So I'm just gonna take it off a little bit of her. And then the last thing I wanna show you guys are the brush on actions, which are actions that you can just brush on certain parts of your image. So once again, if you look at the bottom in the purple coded actions, um, you can play any individually or you can play all of them and play around with them. Now, I know the ones that I want to use here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the background layer and from the background layer, I'm gonna play the ones I want. So I really like the wind brush, so I'm gonna click on the wind and what happens with the brush-ons is that you're gonna see a black layer mask because we're brushing on to just different parts of the image. So with a white brush selected, I'm just going to brush on some areas of wind into my photo, just like that, okay? I also want to use the crisp brush because that makes certain parts of the image really sharp and clear. Um, great for if you want to highlight that subject. So I'm going to go back to the background layer and I'm going to choose the winter brush crisp. Once again, you're going to see a black layer mask. So you're going to take a white brush and you're just going to brush the crisp onto the part of the image where you want it to be sharper and clearer. Now there's several other ones that you can try and play around with too but it's really that simple and the possibilities and combinations are endless with what you can create with these actions you can see here the before and the after now, if you want to see how other photographers use these actions, you can head over to CozyClicks.com forward slash winter. And when you get this pack today, you're also going to get the snow overlay pack included. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create with the winter inspired actions.